parking. Oh, come on. Don't fail me now. There we go. Was that trap? Nice. You are hereby promoted to fire technician. Congratulations. <laughs> You're not pulling my leg, right? I'm just thinking grab a friction control device, anchor a pulley, and use it as a brake almost. Update on uh, the rope setup. We're all tied in now, and uh, Harris is roping in. Enough edging for one day. I mean, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. We are not going to be using this vehicle tonight. This is just what Glenon drives to and from uh, home and also does patrol in it, of course. But tonight we're going to be on rescue and we're going to be with Harris on rescue because we were supposed to have that talk with her uh, in the last episode as you guys saw and uh, we never got around to that because we got a brush fire call and other stuff. So hopefully tonight we'll get a chance to talk to her, but uh, let's get into it. And tonight we're going to be at Station 6, which of course is the station... There's Harris right there about to get hit by a car. Uh, we're going to be at Station 6, which as you guys know is Glennon's uh, station. That's where his office is out of. So... We'll just pull in here and turn around. Alright, since everyone's here, um, we can start with the weaving already. Um, yeah, first of all, with the weather, uh, it's gonna be nice 68 degrees Fahrenheit uh, out today. Uh, we're gonna have 3 miles per hour wind, meaning uh, bird operations are also possible. It's gonna be cloudy, so no real danger to any in regards to like slippery roads or anything. Um, We had a uh, few trainings done, I don't know, uh, in regards to anything else besides that, since I'm basically on MLA. If any of the other um, line officers, chief officers have anything in that regards to something that was the past weeks? Mm. No, nothing. Nothing? Nothing for me. No. Alright, then we just have one more thing to cover. Harris! Ah! Step forward, please. And Glenn, you as well, please. You both fired. Ah, fuck. Yes. Glenn, I think you have something to say. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm that Harris did bad. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm really sorry that we both enjoyed ourselves too much at the race yesterday. And that's why <laughs> we're now being disciplined. Um, oh, dang it. But actually, uh, in all reality, Harris, you have really shown a lot of dedication and uh, growth here in the department. And we've all seen it. We've all uh, witnessed a lot of the great things you've done and how much you've grown as a person and as a firefighter. And you've really shown your uh, knowledge and uh, dedication to this department. And with that being said, we're all very proud of you. And as a sign of uh, appreciation, uh, you are hereby promoted to fire technician. Congratulations. <laughs> You're not pulling my leg, right? Not at all. I'm over here. Oh, man. I hope we can't pull a leg. <laughs> Come on, get up here. Do a speech. Uh, speech. All yours. Speech. <laughs> Don't make it as bad as my lieutenant speech. Oh god, okay. Yeah, that was I pretty shitty. I didn't have a speech. For real, it was. <laughs> uh, thank you to all of the line officers here who have really watched me grow. Uh, you guys have made me a better person, and I appreciate the opportunity. That's about all I got. I don't- I don't know, I was kind of put on the spot for this. Um, yay! Uh, thanks 
for the promotion. I'm a little bit in shock right now. That's it. That's all. Congrats. Go get uniforms yes. online. Ah. <laughs> sort your shit. <laughs> Congrats. You're well deserved. Ah. Well deserved. Thank you. You've you've grown a lot, and uh, you know, well deserved. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you at the interview tomorrow, so... Yes, sir, you will. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Stay safe. Okay, bye, Snyder. <laughs> Slider 1, Snyder. Medic 11, around 2, 3052, and 3042 near Joshua Road for an injured party. Time out, 1810. 3052. That one was funny. Did they say rescue? Near Joshua? Nope. They did not Ladder say rescue? Medic. Oh, okay. Also, who Ladder put one, me as the officer? Your patient will be by the trailer <laughs> rape park off of East Joshua Road. Unknown further information. Oh, we're not going, apparently. Yeah, whatever. I copy. In the cat states, um... I'm okay with they that. Are, they slid downhill. Are they somewhere up in the hill? Yeah. Or, uh, that we need a gate or something? I do not know any further information besides what we just got from the 911 call taker. Okay, I'm changing again. I copy. We I mean, keep wearing it. That's Range, what I'm doing. Car seven, I know. I just like five. my normal, my normals, my my classes. I gotcha. Car seven, rescue five. Oh, rescue oh, five. Damn it. Just in case, and if we need a Gator, can you uh, prepare to put Ari on the trailer? Ten four can do, or we can uh, we can head up to station three and get it prepared right there. Uh, station three is not in service anymore. We only have station two up in the county. Correction two. A firm, if you want, you can make your way uh, up there and prepare it. Okay. Medical of Rescue 5 will be going code 2. Alright, is it in the Sun Chansky area, or is it going to be behind the future of the desert? Medic 11, from what I've got in the call notes, they're in the area between 3052 and 3042, near the Alien Hill, on further information. Yeah! Actually, something I didn't see in the briefing was like, there's, there's a really big thank you to you. What? I, uh, what is it? I I, I just want I want to thank you. Okay. I, I feel like you've really done a lot. Part three communications. Uh, Part three. I appreciate that. You know, I'm I, sending patrol unit. I think a lot of that is you. You know. I think a lot of that is you. I think a lot of you know, your gross and everything has been, you know, you personally. But you know, I do appreciate. Uh, I do appreciate that. I mean, you really, I mean, you, you did, um, what's it called? Uh, you, you kind of believe that one fire getting. I remember that, Water like, one. that massive fire that we had. That We're in the area, we can use the state officer. Um, we are having a look around, we do not see anything about the patient. Do we have a precise location about him? Medic 11, apologies. Um, a call note's just been added, uh, saying the alien hill is my radio. Could you advise what that means? Oh my god, it's the hill with aliens. Stay by, I'll get up on the bar. Clearly, I mean... The hill with the aliens on it. Is that where the patient is? Medic 11, that's where the alien is.
Rescue 5. Rescue 5. Rescue 5. We're at Station 2. We're going to cross back with Gator at the moment. We're available still for rescue-related calls. Copy. There we go. I'll get the good old Gator out. That's what we got told. That the patient's area is in the area, but we don't know. I have any further information. Received. We're on scene. We're rendezvousing with um, BCS team. We'll advise further. Copy. Command, Gator. Go. Given that we're staged right next to the hills, do you want us to just assist with the search? Uh, be advised, we have eyes on the patient. Why, please? Uh, he's gonna be, if you go past the um past the nice painted area on the other side there is a kind of gorge that's leading up to that uh platform on top of the hill the patient is right underneath the platform i know exactly where that is We have a backboard, so we might as well, you know? Oh my god. Got our Stokes. Stokes, that's what I meant to say. Stokes. I'm stoked for the Stokes. Oh, I, you stole my joke. I was about to say that. <laughs> hey, same brain cell, right? Yep. I think I can go... Oh, I see the I see you already on the thing. Um... Never mind. Uh, you can come up here. We probably need you to transport the patient down. It's quite steep. Copy. We're on our way. Bring the dispatch. Get one. What was wrong with the carburetor on this thing? Get one. Get one. We're gonna be cross staff with Gator One Rescue Five out of service. We're out on the call. Copy. I'm gonna back it up. There's that path that meanders up there, unless you mean a different place. No, I mean, unless I see it right here, spot. yeah. Ah, there they are. Fire radio parking. Oh, come on. Don't fail me now. There we go. Is that nice. three? That's a firm update on your scene. Uh, I, I ain't on those scenes, sir. No idea about it, is it? Hi. PG took a tell report, I played Howdy. about five minutes ago. There we go, that's as good yeah, as it's getting. Yeah, yeah it's you right can leave it Wee. right there. Actually, that then again, work. if we try to put him in the Stokes now, he's going to be head down, so maybe I should fix that. <laughs> if you can, well, we can turn it around. We can flip the Stokes around. We can, yeah, we can, well, we can, can flip you? him around in the Stokes. Yeah, that's true. Mm, yeah. Flip the, the Stokes around. Either or either both way. works. You can either yeah. turn the Stokes around or the patient. Um, Do you want to carry it with me, Jefferson? Uh, what was it? Do you want to carry it with me? Yeah. Cool. Um, Dash at one, five radio. Yeah, I'm gonna reposition it once we get where we gotta go. Once you get it off. Can kindly get Sheriff up here, please? Because I don't want to be mauled by a mountain lion. I uh, copy. I'll get the up there. Sounds rather Scottish today. Yes, please. I'm currently do lying. Let me get you some pictures. Alien camp would be greatly appreciated. Oh, put the hat back on. Oh, that's scary. Did he say he's gonna get us some bitches? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. You let's get up it. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's quite steep here. You got it. I had, a, I had a dream where that fell down and crushed me. It was very scary. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. Do you know if you have a tech vac or ATI gear on, on Gator? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Or, or at least some ropes. Because uh, Harris had the suggestion what we could do is get from the top, a let a rope down, um, attach the stokes to the rope so that stokes is supported from the top because if you push it from uh, down here up, would be more difficult. So if we yeah. just lower it from the top, 
we can just keep on lowering it and have it secured by the ropes. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take Harris uh, in the Gator. We'll drive up there. Yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll lower it down. And then you got the stoke. So once we will, once you guys lower them down, we'll pull the ropes back up, and then we'll come down and transport. That would be the best idea. Okay, perfect. Let's go, Harris. I'm just gonna see if there's any other anchors. Hold on. No, hold on, Glenn. No, hold on. Okay. I'm thinking just straight low angle. Man, no need to have, have anybody clip into it, right? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go up top and we're gonna um, lower ropes down to them. Yeah. How's it looking up there? Unless you really want to set up a three to one, or four or five to one or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Let's see when we get up I'm there. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Grab a friction control device, anchor a pulley, and use it as a brake almost, just so that they have a little easier time getting it down. Yeah, I think that works. Nothing fancy, you know. Exactly. And, of course, we'll put our safeties into it, too. I mean, that's good, because, you know, you're riding with the safety officer. Yeah, yeah, I was, I mean, just do a prussic safety. Easy peasy. Alright. I think that looks bomb-proof to me. What about you? Is that a lookout platform? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, just get, I guess, do a wrap. I'm yep. just trying to think about how I would do this. Why the fuck do, why the fuck do we have ramen and coke in the back of this thing? Yeah, that's all to do. And then just get it on. Well, I'm mostly gonna write on these posts. Yeah, yep. Ty, get your wrap three. Pull two right here. Drop your rope off. There we go. Alright, I'll let you take over from there. Cool, so my you got my anchor? Okay. My anchor. Yeah, can you get Rahms? Yep. Don't forget a one. Update on uh, the rope setup. We're all tied in now, and uh, Harris is roping in. Copy. I have FAMS with with us down here at the very moment. We're standing by for you. For you. Copy that. It'll be momentarily. Okay, you're gonna do my um, look over. Since I built it. Okay. Check you over real quick. Go ahead and turn around. Let me see. It's just hooked right here. We got a little little tiny system. I'm not even on the rope. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks good to me. So that's got you got your uh, wrap three that you did. It looks good to me. Press mine and pulley right here. Rope's running through it. And then I've got my friction control on my. Actually, I'm gonna hook into it. Never mind. I press it, uh, my friction controls on my belt. Uh, once I get my harness on, and then it's gonna run through there, through the Prusix as our safety, and then it's gonna come down. Good. Perfect. I'm gonna grab my harness on real quick then. Yep. Now, if you want to toss the rope down, just All enough right. to get it hooked up to their to litter. Yeah. And grab that rope well. Gator one to command. Go. We'll be throwing the rope down now. Just watch your heads. I copy. Okay. All right, she's down there. Fantastic.
Kato confirmed Rope was down here. Why don't we get one? Let us know when you're on the system and ready to start lowering. I repeat last. Let us know when you're on the system and ready to start lowering. Uh, what do you think about edge control, like edge uh, okay, protection? Do you lower the whole uh, stokes basket with the rope? We left the stokes with you guys. Alright, copy. God, I have some wonderful jokes for what you just said, but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We can do that. <laughs> okay. Um, just, you want to just lay that out where the rope's touching the edge. Okay. Yep. I got that. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. I think we're good there. Perfect. A really nice view up here. It really is. Command Gator, basket secured, stand by for lowering. Gator copies. You gonna need help at all or you could? Uh, if you want to mind my rope, just make sure it doesn't get tangled behind me. Yep. I got and you. in case I, in case it's heavier than I expected. You got it. Perfect. This should be fun. I'm not too worried about it. Reminds me of a time I was helping somebody replace their roof. And uh, oh, really? we were putting a metal roof on and we had to do a, a belay system where I was on the on the ground and he was up on the roof. And uh, that way he wouldn't slide around and stuff like that. And we were pulling the shingles off and putting the metal roof on. And then he got to the last sheet of metal and he had nowhere to stand where there was good grip, so he had to just be on metal, like on this really like sharp oh slope. So I just had to hold this guy with the belay rope until he was done. <laughs> like, get that last one bolted in, god damn it. Losing my strength out of here. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't know. Low angle's kinda just a, a really simple thing. Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun thing. Really, their weight isn't on the system as much. It's just more as like a little break. Yeah, absolutely. So makes my life easy. <laughs> and I don't need to build a complicated thing of ropes. Yeah, exactly. It's very simple. Oops, yeah. Way. Your safety's built in, basically. Well, we we like when our safety's built in. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. And then there, there is something to say about redundancy as well. Yep. That's always always a good thing. Absolutely. So I would use two press six, not one. The worst thing that can happen now is the uh, mountain line goes up. Ever seen the Too video bad. of um, kind of recently, but there was like this news anchor that was doing a uh, a report in the dark, and she was giving this report like live on Come TV. On, Gator. You're clear to lower the stokes basket slowly. Let's do it. Let me know if you need any extra like strength on the rope. Yeah, I'm hoping the friction is just gonna be enough, but uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey. Motion of the ocean, right? <laughs> Weirdly, I've heard that a lot. I don't know why. I don't know. I heard it yesterday. That's true, yeah. Uh, with Dawn and you. But yeah, this news anchor, she was... Uh... Come on, get it. You good. Cool. If you can have them just let go of the line and we'll just pull it back up. Yeah. Just I'll just keep my hands on it right now. Get it one when you're all set, you can uh, let go of that line and we'll pull it back up. I copy. Thank Lines you kindly. You can to pull up. Copy that. Pull it up. Thank you. 
yeah anyway uh, so she's doing a news report and it was in the middle of the night and the, the cameraman's on her and it's live and she's talking to the studio and she's like oh oh okay well we're gonna we're gonna have a dog kind of get in the shot here and then she keeps going and the dog gets into the shot and it's a freaking mountain lion just walking towards Whoa. her and because she didn't realize it was a mountain lion it didn't sense any fear from her so it just walked right past her and <laughs> into the brush it was Come bizarre out of you're also here That's to insane. return to station once you packed up that is insane Solid copy you could just ro inspect the rope as i bring it up and put it in the bag yeah, yeah we're also gonna much. collect our uh stokes we want to leave it at the base there I got the, we're gonna bring it down to the ambulance that is down at the trailer park. Copy that. If you want to grab the edge protection, well, there's still weight on it so that it doesn't fall down. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Thank you. Enough edging for one day. I mean, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey. Just because we're done edging doesn't mean we can't finish. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. There we go. Fire radio to car seven. All right, you got everything off the post? I got everything. All right, let's, let's get, get it going. Going. Update on your scene. Whoa. Whoa. Update, patient has been rescued and has been headed over to SAM. They are transporting here in a minute. I hear the hippies out here throw really cool parties at night. No way. Yeah, so it's all like alien stuff, but. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. They're waiting for UFOs to show up. Hmm. I think I live by one of either the hippies or like somewhat an alien believer or something. Yeah, I uh, I, I used mean, to read a lot of uh, John Keel books, like especially like hmm. you know I'm an old man, so like I have been around for a while. Uh, but I saw so I was here when John Keel was actually publishing some of his books, and uh, back in no like way. the 60s, 70s, and uh, he thinks that UFOs don't come from space, but they come from our own planet, and they're ultra-terrestrials, not, uh, extraterrestrials. Huh. Yeah, it's a That's whole thing. interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the gator, it's bare. Hello! Hello. I'm just gonna put this around the nose. Here, if you want to just wait. He's still in, in the stoke, so give them a moment. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Bear's got that bicycle helmet on. I mean, really, when you live in the county, everyone's your neighbor, Oof. but... Uh, also, letting you know, there's apparently someone pulled over somewhere back there. He might drive yeah, so off, so when you get back to station, sure to uh, be careful stay, on the way there. Uh, we'll pet him, don't worry. It eliminates risk further injury. Okay. <laughs> like we did yesterday. Gator. I want to see that. Yeah, like yesterday. <laughs> if you do that, I want to see that dash cam video. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we almost did that yesterday. You, you missed it. I just want to get out of here now. I don't like being in this desert no more. Hello, I'm back. Understand Welcome that. back. We're gonna get you out of here and transport you, okay? As soon as we can. We just want to make sure that you're okay, okay? He's gonna take your uh, your vital signs just to see how you are, okay? I'm just gonna treat your injuries. What have we done so far? Um, splint. Yeah, I placed both splints on uh, both of his or two plus splint on each of his wrists. Um, okay. What needs to be done? Ninety over seventy for the blood pressure. Um, I'm just getting a vitals panel now. He's got um, an RB now again at the moment. I'm just gonna do a secondary assessment, and if that comes up, they can get him transported to Sandy. Is that alright? We got GCS. Um, GCS fit. Probably. Uh, Chief, would you mind taking? Chief, would you mind taking his pupils for me? Of course I can. If you guys were, I don't think you guys were up on the wrong with me. If you, if, when you guys put me in the ambulance, please make sure to keep my monkey man mask on me. Then so where is the monkey, monkey mask? Because you're not going to put the monkey mask on. It's in, it's in my monkey it's mask. It's in my pocket out. It's in your pocket. It's okay. We'll make What's sure to keep the monkey mask. Yeah, I cannot lose pocket. my mask. I bought it when What's I was a monkey out. What's that pocket out? Yeah, that's what I'm going to put. I think it means his pocket. Yeah, I have a speech impediment. Hey, man, it's I sound good. like a rock and roll singer. Yes. Uh -huh. I want a rock and roll roll on the night. They party every day. You sound a little bit like Elvis. You ain't nothing but a hell on your own. Uh huh. 
thank oh, baby Jesus for letting me on this fine stretcher today. No sir, actually, uh, Jesus didn't oh, put you on there, I put you <laughs> on there. Oh, I almost <laughs> ran over that, that young man over there. <laughs> Watch your step, sir! <laughs> oh, no. I'll, I'll get the Stokes basket out of my foot, just got one over. Ow. Thank you. You get? That's going to be a lawsuit. Uh, would you like to go in the back? Because um, I've not been able to really talk to you due to my speech and heading that. Yeah, you're all good. Yes, thank you. See you guys back at station. Yep, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, see. fire department. Yeah, thank Anytime. You. Thank you. Oh, medical evidence. What's going on We've got one transported. Oh, I've got to transport an ambulance now. We're going to be doing okay. part, part three to some of the medical center. Copy, transporting times on vision to Sandy Medical, priority three. Well, uh, there we go. Dispatch, Gator 1. Gator 1. We're clear from the call, we're returning in service, we're gonna go pick up Rescue 5. Top vision, clear from the call, we're returning to station to pick up Rescue 5.